Hello everyone and welcome to Channel 18 TV News. I'm Don Julian. In the news, a complaint of people drinking, smoking marijuana, and being aggressive toward others at a Helm Lane parking lot resulted in the arrest of three men late Thursday night. Upon arrival, police officers arrested a 28-year-old man, a 38-year-old man, and a 29-year-old man, and all three were arrested for public intoxication. The Kappa Omicron chapter of the Delta Kappa Gamma Society International with the Gladys Alexander chapter of the National Honor Society recently donated 362 storybooks to be presented to newborns at Christus Mother Francis uh, Hospital, Sulphur Springs. Representing the National Honor Society were Carissa Carter and Bracken Sant and representing uh, Kappa Omicron were SSHS teachers Gail Herman and Madison Millsap. Receiving the books were RN's Christy Crouch and also Megan Cameron. Books for Babies is an annual project for these organizations. At a meeting of the Executive Committee of the Arctex Council of Governments on May 30th at the Titus County Extension Service in Mount Pleasant, the committee is expected to finalize a $100,000 bid to provide transit scheduling software for the Trax Rural Transportation Service. Shaw Software of Dallas submitted the bid. The contract will include software installation, training for track staff, and four years of transit scheduling service. Let's take a fresh look at someone you may already know, Ina Gore, who's in the singing ministry of Psalms 100, who's also the 2012 Ms. Hopkins County Senior. We are in our 37th year, mm -mm -mm. going on 38, and we have had just a blast. It has been so much fun. We have enjoyed every moment of it. If people want to read about your life story, where would they look? Oh, Enola, <laughs> I am so glad you asked. <laughs> We're on the cover of Christian Voice magazine for the May issue. So excited. We have a story on the inside. Oh, it looks to me um, like you're sitting at our park. We are, at well, out at the lake. Uh -huh. We were at the lake. Um, that is so wonderful. Which is the one out there by the airport? Yes. yes. Yeah. And um, we had, uh, there was a bench there. It wasn't in very good, kind of disrepair out there at okay. the time, but there was a bench out there we could sit on. We also walked out on the pier, and there's not a picture in here about that, but we walked out on the pier and sat down on the pier, and John took pictures of us sitting out on the pier with our feet dangling. Somebody oh. said, how did you get up? I said, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I got down, but it was very difficult. And I told John to turn his head some other way. Cause I was going to have a hard time getting up. <laughs> Is that John Beck? Uh, yes, John Beck. I think he does sound for y'all. He, he does at, at the, the Jamboree, and he does such good work in everything, oh, and music, and now photography. I'm yeah, he's out. been doing photography for a while, and in fact, he's done all of the photos for our uh, albums, for our CD okay. albums. Uh, from he's just jack of all trades mm -hmm. and a good man. <laughs> good man. Um, you are here to tell people to come to the pageant and also to ladies to consider entering next year. Yes, um, ladies, if you have not participated in the Miss Hopkins County Senior Classic, you're missing a great opportunity to just show everybody that aging does not have to be incapacitating mm -hmm. you can still be active you can still be show your talent and it doesn't necessarily have to be singing or dancing it's not like a beauty pageant it's just for senior ladies to show that they are still active they can still do things they can participate in events even though we're getting old. We've had people in wheelchairs mm -hmm, participate sure. in the event and on walkers. And it just doesn't matter. It's just such a fun thing, an exciting thing. Um, get to dress up. You don't have to dress up, but if you like to dress up, it's a great time to dress up. And just have a good time. Show your talent, whether it's reading a poem, reciting 
something showing paintings you've done. We had a lady that did paintings one year, and she displayed her paintings. Mm-hmm. Um, next year, it's too late this year to get entered in, but next year, it will start all over again. And the pageant, or um, the uh, organization that this pageant is associated with is the Ms. Texas Senior Classic. That's why we say classic. So all the places in Texas that participate and send representatives to the Texas pageant are in the Ms. let's say, Hopkins County Senior Classic pageant. Yes. Like ours is going to be on Saturday, June 1st. And we're very discriminating as to age. You have to be 60 years old. 60 or older. Or older. <laughs> and so we have one contestant, and she said, I entered as soon as I got 60, and this is my second year, and she's 61. She enjoys the pageant. She keeps coming back. Well, you know, we have a couple of ladies that have entered it Sarah, two or three times. Mm-hmm. It's uh, just because it's fun. They don't necessarily... Uh, I think almost everybody wins something, some kind of a... Uh, an award. Oh, there's all kinds. Best there's personality, kinds. best philosophy of life, or mm-hmm. or um, gown, mm-hmm. and just several several different categories. And I cannot think of a year that everybody didn't take home something. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're going to receive something for it. It's just a, a memento for your participation in the in the pageant. Now, it will take up some of your time over over a period of time. You start thinking about, what am I going to wear? What is my talent going to be? How am I going to do my hair? Yes. Practice my walk. Oh, yeah, <laughs> practice my walk. <laughs> you know, there's just a lot to it. There's, a, there's more to it than just putting on your dress and going down there. Yeah. You want to make a, a good appearance. You want to look good. You want to act like you know what you're doing, whether you do or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and That's, people's kids brag about it. You wouldn't believe my mother or my grandmother is in a pageant. Oh, I know. My great-grandkids, they, I have a picture up on my file cabinet of uh, me with my gown and my tiara on and everything. Mm-hmm. They say, Mama, is that when you were queen? <laughs> yes, we call them queens. <laughs> Um, uh-huh. And you went to the Miss Texas pageant. I did, and that was a lot of fun. I I didn't try to win that Enola just because we were so busy in our singing ministry at the time that I really didn't have time to do the things that that uh, Miss Texas would have needed f- for me to attend. So, but it was so much fun. I just made friendships with ladies that will last forever mm-hmm. we're still friends on facebook and uh it, it's just it's a wonderful thing you'll have a great time enjoying that and actually i don't think you have to be a winner of a pageant anywhere to be to, okay. to, to enter the miss okay. Texas. yes of course they want uh qualified contestants just like we do oh here. absolutely yeah. this year we have 10 and we're real pleased that we have 10 that that's a, quite a few considering how many we started out having or on early on people ladies were so intimidated by thinking they had to perform on the stage in front of thousands of people <laughs> <laughs> it would be great if we had thousands of people on Saturday night, June 1st. It would be. It the would admission be. is free. Anybody can come. Please do, because you'll get the benefit and a blessing. The you know, talent is wonderful. Yeah, you'll just, support these ladies. Absolutely. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, no. but it just uh, makes me sad when we go to the pageant and there's the house is not full. Because it is such an honor for our town to be able to do this. And Karen Weatherman is such a joy. She's such a jewel for Hopkins County. She is. And she does so much for seniors. And it's hard for me to understand why so more people don't come out and enjoy the fruits of her labor, which is awesome. Well, it's sort of like the good news. Uh, Everyone's called and some come forward. 
That's right. That's right. And, and she in, certainly stepped up to the plate. <laughs> well, so many of the uh, contestants have been here to interview and look back. Yes, the first year when I, I came in because Karen begged me to, <laughs> or Karen exhorted me to. But then after that, they come to love it, and they come back. They come to love it. But Karen built this here in Hopkins County. She did. She did. She started with, I think, three or four the first year. And I think there was four or five the next year, and then three or four the next year, and then finally our ladies started stepping up and saying, yeah, I want to be a part of this. I yeah, I can do this. Um, there's going to be a very special award this um, time, a memorial award for to someone... I'm not sure Karen's selection um, plans on that, but it's the Gliding Fielden Memorial Award. Oh, yes, yes. That, do you know, how, how many years is this we've been doing this? Do you, this is the 10th. Tenth. 10th year. In 10 years, every lady that has participated in the Miss Hopkins County Classic has been there except a couple, you know, when they were had sickness or something like that. But this is the first lady that has gone on to be with Jesus since we have been doing the pageant, and I just think that's marvelous. Well, we're going to remember her very <coughs> fondly on Saturday night, June 1st. Plan to be there, 6 p.m., Civic Center, not the auditorium. Someday we no. may grow to fill that up, but we're in the exhibit hall or banquet hall. Banquet hall. And we can seat 200 or more. We have a lot of chairs oh, out there. yeah, absolutely. I think for that benefit they had out there a couple of oh, a month ago, something like that, I think they set up over 300 chairs. We'll come and we will bring out more chairs if necessary. Yeah, we'd love to, see we'd love to have a house full. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be special entertainment. There's going to be the talent of the ladies. There's going to be myself and Chuck Roy as MCs. Well, and you're going to sing too. I'm going to sing. Uh huh. So um, we just need to have you there and uh, support the ladies uh, as they uh, make they do philosophy of life, which is their stated sort of their mission statement mm -hmm. as an individual. Uh, evening gown presentation talent presentation mm -hmm. and it's lots of fun it is a lot of fun and i hope you all i hope everybody comes out and um, supports these ladies that are stepping out of the comfort zone and enjoying life there's uh, one more thing I've got to ask you. You are representing your year as Ms. Hopkins County and perpetually at this pageant. You also represent your singing ministry, you and Buddy Gore. Yes. But what is his title? When you were Ms. Hopkins County, did he have some kind of title? He was the Mr. Mr. Hopkins <laughs> County. <laughs> Mr. Escort. <laughs> he said... Uh, don't do this anymore, he said. I'm tired of calling, being called Mr. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy, he always makes things light and funny. funny. <laughs> Thank you for coming in and sharing with us today. Thank you for having me, Enola. It's a joy always to come out and visit with you. We have just time enough to ask you, what is your very next appearance as Psalms 100? Let me see. I'm trying to think. We'll, we'll hunt you well, up. Well, just hunt me up on Facebook. And the name of that magazine is? Christian Voice Magazine. They can subscribe to it. and get It's a monthly issue. Okay. Uh, and we would love to sign you up to receive this every month. Sometimes we have an ad in there. Sometimes we don't. But we're just spasmodic. But we were so blessed to be able to uh, be on the cover okay. when Randall called us and asked if we would uh, send him a story. It just never occurred to me we'd be on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Front page May edition of Christian Voice. Thank yes. you, Ina Gore, for coming in Thank today. You, we'll Nola. see you at the pageant. In sports, the Wildcats fielded JV and varsity teams in 7-on-7 seven -seven action Thursday against teams from Van and Commerce in the multi-purpose building. The Wildcats varsity lost to Van 27-17 and then defeated Commerce 24-21. Against Van, the Wildcats varsity got off to a bad start. Quarterback Caden Wallace's very first pass bounced off the receiver and was intercepted by a Vandal to give Van a 3-0 lead. 
A short time later, Van scored a touchdown to go up 10 to nothing. On the Wildcats' fourth possession, quarterback Noe Ponce led the Wildcats to the end zone. Ponce completed four of six passes, with number four going to receiver Bryson Lacey for a touchdown to make it a 10-7 game. Van uh, scored a touchdown to make it a 17-7 game after that. With Van hoping to increase that lead, Wildcats defender Kylan Wade picked off a Vandal pass to make it a 17-10 ball game. The Wildcats later threatened to tie the score, but bogged down near the end zone, turning the ball over on downs. Then Van scored to go up 24-10. Later, Ponce led the Wildcats on another scoring drive. He completed two of three passes and found Wade open in the end zone for a touchdown, and it was 24-17. Late in the game, with the Wildcats hurrying to try and tie the game, Van got a clinching interception right before the horn, making the final Van 27 and the Wildcats 17. Against Commerce, Wallace led the Wildcats to the end zone on their second possession of the game. His short TD pass went to Zach Tmeyer. Wallace hit four or five passes on the drive. Commerce came right back to score and make it a 7-7 game. Then Lacey playing on defense, intercepted a Tigers pass to give the Wildcats a 10-7 lead. Wallace again led the Wildcats to the end zone, completing two of two passes. The second found Lacey all alone behind the defense, and he cruised into the end zone to give the Wildcats a 17-7 lead. Commerce again rallied and scored to cut the Wildcats' lead to 17-14. Then Wallace was perfect on a late drive, hitting four passes and four attempts, the last one went to Wade in the end zone, and the Wildcats were up 24-14. to Commerce got a late score just seconds before the end of the game, and the game ended Wildcats 24 and Commerce 21. Wildcats offensive coordinator Matt Young called it a win for the day with so many new faces getting reps. He said he checks the game video to see a uh, receiver's percentage of making catches and running proper routes. Coach Young says he wants to see a receiver grade out with at least 95% for both. The Wildcats JV also defeated Commerce but lost to Van. Their quarterbacks are Matthew Sherman and Ty Stroud. The Wildcats varsity will now face some very stiff competition in their next tournament at SMU on May 31st. And that's Channel 18 TV News. I'm Don Julian. Thank you for joining me, and so long, everybody.